the leader of my own party, a uh, predecessor of mine, was the one who in the mid-50s opened up a trade negotiation with Japan, conscious as he was that many of his most loyal supporters were deeply concerned about this, but he rose above that prejudice. And as I understand it, part of what you're saying is that the West, rather smugly, allowed itself just to say, oh, they're terrible people. We're, we're so thankful they've been beaten and, and sort of walked away. There was a, yeah, there was a, also at the time all kinds of ideas of fashion were in the West. Uh, the, 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 the sort of Milton Friedman ideas of, of, of letting everything rip economically is the best, the best way of, of building a healthy economy, which in, it, it may in some cases be true. I personally doubt it, but it couldn't have been more untrue in Russia. It just you know, say what you like about China, and, and no doubt I will later on. Uh, there are quite a lot of the goods that we buy in our lives are made in China. Does, does anybody ever buy anything made in Russia? Uh, we we devastated what was what was left of of their economy, and and it, it, it just became nothing but an extractive economy producing oil and gas for, and, and some weapons, and and that was about it. After after, after we, it, it's not as if Russians cannot actually manufacture things. If you go back to the, the period before 1914 when French investment particularly was pouring into Russia, it was a very successful economy. Uh, but it's, it, there, there was no opportunity given for it to rebuild itself as an economy or a society. Both those things were, were not just neglected, but were treated in ways which were, I, don't, I think they were intended to result in the catastrophe which followed, but it, it wasn't entirely unpredictable. Well, it was just so different to the attitude that was adopted after the Second World War. Totally That's different. what jumps out totally to me. Different. Here's, there's another contrast, which I, I have to stress because it always seems so important to me. In 1989, you'll remember that in, in the former East Germany, there were huge popular demonstrations of German East Germans demanding freedom, Leipzig particularly mm. in Dresden. At almost exactly the same time, there were huge popular demonstrations in yes. Peking uh, demanding the same thing. Yes. The Chinese state murdered the demonstrators and suppressed uh, any tendency towards freedom and democracy. Uh, the Soviet Union actually gave way. Uh, now, the, the, the collapse of the USSR is by no means totally bloodless. I was witness in, in Vilnius in 1991 to a particularly revolting attempt to crush uh, protests. And there was a horrible incident, for instance, in, in Tbilisi, in Georgia, where, where, where soldiers killed people from the crowd with sharpened shovels. But it was uh, more or less, uh, I should say 95%, a non-violent retreat. We rewarded the, the, the Russians and the former, the, the former Soviet Union for giving way quite properly to democratic protest. Uh, by endless uh, hostility and contempt. And we rewarded the Chinese for murdering their own democratic protesters with friendship, trade, alliances, and frankly, bootlicking. And it's the most ex astonishing contrast. And I don't know how people can look themselves in the face who are responsible for it and, and explain why it is that we directly rewarded uh, a, a, a bloodthirsty and ruthless uh, police state and have treated a, a, a country which for all its faults gave way to democratic protest as a pariah. Um, I think I, I, I identify closely with what you're saying, and yet it in no sense lessens my horror at what's actually unfolding. It's not to say that in any way what is happening is admirable. It's just to try and background and understand and say so we've got to learn from these mistakes. Well, I've always disagreed with the... the, 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 the the old sword to Cornwall say to pardon it. It's not. It's not to, to understand everything. Is not to forgive everything. Mm. Uh, but I think it is necessary to understand things. Yeah. And if you uh, and, and the context in which they happen, and if what you're talking about is the is, is the invasion of Ukraine, which I assume you are, uh, you you'll find that uh, even such a figure as Robert Kagan one of the most prominent neoconservatives uh, who's actually married to Victoria Newland, who's pursued in the State Department what I regard as a, as a strongly anti-Russian policy, has written in Foreign Affairs in the current issue, which is it's quite plain that disgusting and obscene that the invasion was, uh, there was a, there was an element of provocation by the West. And if Robert Kagan can say that, then frankly, so can I. And neither of us uh, should there, therefore be accused of defending the invasion or thinking that it was... It was uh, a civilized or lawful or, or even a um, remotely acceptable thing to do. But you have to understand the conditions under which it took place. 
Seems worth remembering that at the time, Michael Mikhail Gorbachev was greeted as a, a hero and a great friend in the West and is despised in China. We well, he's despised in Russia as well. Um, he's, he's largely associated in people's minds with the end of security and, yeah. and also uh, for weakness. And it's, it's, it's much as if Margaret Thatcher, for instance, is much less popular in Britain than she is outside it. It's often people who are highly regarded by other countries and not highly regarded in their own. But no, Gorbachev is, um, is, is, is still much loathed in, in Russia. I, I say partly because he, he's associated with the end of what, the, what is falsely called the golden time of Tsar Vladimir, uh, that had to come to an end here, but also because he's, he's seen as weak. Another thing that just uh, as a subset of all of this that strikes me as potentially interesting is the reunification of Germany. So you saw West Germany invest massively. Oh, co co colossally. And West Germans had to pay for it too. Yeah. With huge solidarity taxes were necessary to pay for, the, for this transformation. Hypothetical, I know then, but what do you think the West might have done better after 1991 in Russia? What could they... Any thoughts on what they could have done better? Well, first of all, a completely done? different economic program. Uh, not not, not the, the, the wild release of, of market economics into, into, a, into a Soviet system, a serious attempt to in, in invest. Something, uh, similar things, I suppose, have happened in, in parts of Eastern Europe, where the countries such as the, the, the Czech Republic, which have uh, very highly educated and, and, and skilled workforces, have, 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 have now got strong functioning industries thanks to foreign investment. That could have happened. Uh, the, uh, but also what was needed, as I say, was, was much, much more of a directed program to try and create a functioning civil society. I said that I've come to the conclusion after all of my travels that the, the key things for, for a society to work properly are the rule of law and, and the, the liberties of speech, thought and assembly. Those two things combined will create a society in which you can actually have a functioning civilization. Uh, you then build, that's the substructure, you can then build onto that the superstructures, things which I value very highly, so adversarial parliaments. Uh, a, 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 a genuine proper diversity of political parties which enables government to alternate uh, and the the, the, the willingness of, of, of the media to criticize uh, government quite strongly and, and, and act as a, a fourth state uh, these things happen but that's what we should have been aiming for and a lot of this was very much uh, done in occupied Germany after 1945 yes as we, specifically, yeah. people thought that how do we make sure that what that we that the Germany which results from this is a better country than the one which we've just destroyed, well, the and, they, and they and they and it succeeded. It's it's it, 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 the people say well, um, the, the, the nation building is is, is is often folly and it often is, but in a sort of ground zero moment such as you had in, in Germany in forty five and as you had in. In Russia in 1991, it was possible, should have been done.